what's up cuties it's your girl Karina and we are styling some fall 2023 fashion trends today and specifically the ones that I've been seeing around all over just my internet platforms I am so excited for a shift of weather I know technically it's not fall yet but to me September is kind of fall even though I am in very hot weather and I've been really inspired with fashion lately and just getting dressed for myself every day that I thought styling some fashion trends would be totally fun so I did compile a list here that I did on my notes app and I feel like what I'm gonna do is kind of have them interchangeable because I feel like a lot of these trends they can sometimes be used in like multiple ways or even together that's kind of sometimes how I like to style these things so I'm not gonna do like an outfit for each specific trend but maybe like incorporate two different trends in like an outfit anyways we're gonna have some fun we're gonna play some dress up and if you see me sweating like I said it is hot and I'm actually filming in my room so let me know if you like this I think it's fun. I kind of wanted to change it up. First trend I'm thinking of styling is the PJ short. I feel like not only are they practical, but they can also be stylish as well. I've been really liking the juxtaposition of maybe the PJ short with like a fancier top. And so I kind of want to do that today. I recently thrifted these shorts and I thought these were fun because they're in a different colorway than I would usually get. I'm styling it with like this top that if you see my last thrift with me, I recently thrifted. Quickly put these on style it up and see how we do i put the outfit on and i know it looks a little different i feel like i am giving a little chef it's all trusting the process baby and then i added this necklace when i do have like a v-neck style top i sometimes just like to add a necklace so i thought it would go good and also the color yellow just to kind of match you don't always have to match but I always like to somehow match. I'm gonna pair it with these Mary Janes that I also thrifted because I've been trying to find the silhouette of Mary Janes for a while. So the fact that I found them that day at Savers for like six bucks scored. I kinda like that they're like a navy color because easily I would have gone for a black. Key into navy lately, which has kind of been inspiring me with another trend that we will talk about later which is like muted colors. I also recently thrifted this bag, which I've been loving like big shoulder bags lately. I also have some like sunnies that have yellow and I'm thinking of putting those on. And here it is, a fun little outfit. I know this one's a little different than usual, but like I said, I think it's very close to what we've been seeing lately, like these fun shorts. Also a really good way of transitioning your like summer clothes into the fall. And I'm like, maybe it's not really that fall inspired. It is kind of more summer. So summer to fall is what I would call this outfit. It does include a lot of the trends I feel like that I've been seeing, which is Mary Jane, striped PJ shorts, which you can also pair with like an oversized sweater. I think that would look cute too. Let me know what you think. I know this was the first outfit and you're like, girl, I don't know if this is fall wait a goddamn minute wait a minute and i will show you baby because i do have fall outfits i just thought this one somehow like a great transitional one from summer to fall oh i also forgot to mention that all of this stuff is out of my closet and majority of the items are thrifted so that's also just a reminder that a lot of these trends you can style with items in your closet or go to the thrift store and try to find them and you know that's what your homegirl is all tr always trying to show you have fun with your wardrobe a lot of the times you have these trends already in your closet next trend that i'm going to be styling is this like puff skirt or like puffy skirts or some people call them like balloon skirts i feel like sammy lang is the top tier of bringing this trend together they have these amazing beautiful silhouette dresses and i feel like we started seeing them a lot in the spring and of course she she just had her show recently and i feel like we saw some of those pieces into the fall i got this dress i think last year last fall and it was before i feel like we've been seeing these trends pop up I feel like this dress is perfect for both of them which is that you know puffy balloon style skirt but also like the drop waist dress so i am going to be styling both of those trends separately so here it is i feel like if you've been following me you've seen this dress my only gripe from with this dress is that i am five seven and this does fit me short it comes to styling it as a skirt i think it'd be perfect so as you can see here it's just like a strapless 
dress and then at the bottom it's kind of have like this poofy like puffiness to it so i'm gonna be styling this first as a puffy skirt i think that's a good segue to the next trend which is the color green green is going everywhere right now and just like red i just feel like it's something maybe with the holidays because red and green of course christmas and i love them together but also just that they're both shining in their own light right now is just so iconic I have this long like turtleneck pairing it with this as a skirt underneath so cute we're like styling as we go so i'm not sure if they're gonna work out i just kind of had an idea i picked out some items that i think fit the trend and then we're putting them together so <laughs> we'll see how it works baby about like when you can barely see the skirt on like a sweater or anything like that i love it and it's kind of boxy which for me back in the day i would typically avoid which i was so afraid of styling because of the stereotypes of what a plus size person should wear these are one of the things that was like things you should avoid and i'm like girl y'all are tripping i should have been avoiding your information i do have these green socks and i've been loving like socks with mary jane's so i think i'm gonna add the green socks to the mary jane similar in paris i wear like these socks with mary jane flats that i made which were ballet flats with the elastic on it and i got complimented so much also trash day so if you hear the trash picking up that is why i love how the socks look with the mary jane i'm gonna wear the same bag but i do feel like this does incorporate like the puffy skirt the color green mary jane's all the vibes that we've been liking still very transitional fall kind of outfit for sure when it gets colder i'm gonna make another fall outfit video let me know what you think i know super bright but that's me so now i'm thinking of styling this as a dress i am seriously sweating so much right now between takes i turn y'all off and i do put on my AC for a little bit and stay for a little while so if I have been lagging in between takes it's that is why but see this is the silhouette of the drop waist I'm 5'7 so pretty short on me but I think it's cute and I'm gonna style it with these we've been loving kitten heels we've been seeing them everywhere so these are actually Prada's baby I found them with this reseller on whatnot her name is Backstitch Vintage. One of my favorite resellers on whatnot. And I'm so happy because I've been looking for these shoes for a while. And I think she ended up finding them at the bins, y'all. So crazy. They are half a size too small on me, but that's okay. I'm gonna work it, baby. For me, because this is short, I like to add an oversized blazer. That's just my style. Such a Karina outfit, a dress with the blazer yeah let's do a pop of red on the bag maybe this one because it has like a chain detail and i kind of like that i think like maybe a slick back hair would look so cute with this outfit and then like add like a huge bow but your girl just spent time doing her hair um i did a nice little blowout so i'm just gonna leave it like that like this like i said i'm thinking of adding the belt <laughs> your girl's bloated i'm just gonna leave it here to show you the example with it but I think it's actually taking away. So I'm going to take it off, actually. Just like this. I think this is fine. Sometimes you don't always have to accessorize. So I feel like I get in the mindset where I'm like, girl, you should be accessorizing more because that's something that you're lacking. And then I try, and then sometimes it just doesn't work. I'm going to be wearing this more. It's one of my favorites. It's been chilling in my closet. I wish I actually could have taken this with me abroad, but I just didn't. It passed my mind, y'all. It passed my mind. But it's so cute she's a kitty I just jumped into this one I ended up changing the blazer because i wanted to do the 80 style oversized blazer and i found this pinterest photo and i just had to recreate it it's kind of similar but also not but like i said 80s blazers the color green two trends and i thought let's just put it together baby here it is i feel like every time i wear these tights i feel a little extra i feel like my leo moon is coming out i feel like this is definitely a cool fun way of styling so very inspired by this pinterest photo very similar 
she's wearing red tights which i also am on the look out for i think for me i do kind of prefer more solid tight so like a black tight a red one even if it was like a solid green i think i would also wear that as well so definitely red tights i am on the lookout for adding like a fun tight to an outfit just takes it to a different level and like i said to me i wanted to add the fun green element with the glasses and these tights but everything else is something i feel like i would wear already so just adding a fun little twist and to bring out my cute fun shoes y'all can you see it i hope you can see it from here but these are these roman tenenzas that have the little fish as the heel <sighs> one of my favorites are finds i'm obsessed with roman tenenza shoes let me know what you think about this outfit i know it's a little bit out there but i'm definitely getting back to more wearable trends like this one is a little bit out there i want to style off the shoulder because we've been seeing off the shoulder for a while now and it's definitely one of the prominent trends in fall of 2023 and i have this beautiful off the shoulder bodysuit that i got from parade that i just want to style it for y'all so here it is off the shoulder and i just had to showcase this beautiful bodysuit y'all i am obsessed with the back it ties up in the front so it actually has a tie here which you can't really see i feel like you can see if i put it on the skirt but i don't know how i feel about that particular look ribbon all over my hair as well as do a scrunchie i wish i had a bigger scrunchie so it could just take over but i thought the white scrunchie kind of gave it that ballet-esque vibe if you will i just kind of stick them in i don't know if they're in the right places but i thought that was cute and then paired it with my black mary jane's and this black bag yeah let me know what you think i think it's really cute the next trend i'm styling is the cardigan and all over my pinterest i have been liking cardigans and i think it's just a very simplistic way of layering and adding a different outerwear piece into an outfit and it also kind of reminds me of like the preppy or the old money aesthetic that we saw going around <laughs> so i have this one it's just an all white cardigan and i don't know what it is about cardigans that for some reason a lot of the times i have difficulty finding them at the thrift store the majority of the ones i found they're usually like three fourths of like a quarter length sleeve and when i get long sleeves typically i just want like a full on long sleeve and so this one i actually got in a mystery bundle it's a very nice silhouette which inspired me to want to thrift a red one in this similar style and i thought to style this with a fun slip that i thrifted i want to say at the rose bowl like where they have the bins or was the long beach flea one really like the bottom of this i think it'd be interesting to kind of make it starting ends where the beginning of this texture ruffle starts recently just saw the san liang new new york fashion week and they had this cute headband that was white or i think they even had a black one it had bows on the side so i made my own it had this like pearl headband i think i got it at dollar tree and then i just added the white ribbon so it's not the nicest it's just white ribbon i had laying around but i think this with this would go together i don't know i'm excited to style this outfit y'all bows on everything is still a fashion trend so i think adding bows to like headbands like this or to your bag really just adds a statement so i'm gonna quickly put those items on as you can see i'm styling the white cardigan and, and here's the skirt i basically pulled it all the way up so where it ends you can see the mesh part of it the pops of red because anything red is it so i have this burgundy red bag and then these bright red shoes i think adding the bows to the headband is a cute little fun DIY idea you know sometimes just adding something different to your accessories you know can make an outfit and having this all monochromatic I think is fun good way of the two trends the pop of red and a cardigan let's move on to the next one which I think I'm just gonna come in and show you and surprise y'all because I started filming around one and it's already gonna be four soon so your girl gotta speed these up. I feel like I'm taking too long filming this. 
so let's get to it. I'm gonna be styling two different trends and the first one being sequins. I feel like in the summer I was so obsessed with sequins. In the fall we're taking those items and just layering it completely different. I think sequins just adds like a fun texture to an outfit the other trend that i incorporated in this outfit is the colorful shoes so we've been seeing like colorful gazelles or you know like colorful ballet flats or colorful tennis shoes for me specifically the anasuka tigers so yeah i paired those two together to create this outfit i'm wearing this sequin skirt that i feel like i've styled so much y'all i think i got this skirt at community thrift back in the fall to spring i believe so surprised how many times i've styled it in the last like seasons and then of course ever since i got these shoes in paris non-stop i really love the whole pop of color or like how the shoes can be such a statement so i decided to wear them with this outfit because i do have like two statement pieces together i literally wear this jean jacket every freaking day especially when you go walking my dogs it's like one of the easiest jackets i've been st styling and i love styling this as like a like a top so i just button up the first couple buttons and like keep it open and i really love that silhouette can't really tell with these shoes but i do have a uh, yellow socks and i think another cool way people have been styling um outfits is like having colorful socks originally i was gonna put loafers and you would definitely see the bright yellow socks but i just love how the honestly good tigers look better okay going on to the next one I'm styling now the silver metallic trend and mine is in these boots that i have i did to style it with what i'm wearing right now this leather like jacket that is kind of cropped which for me usually i would go for a longer jacket but i've been kind of into a cropped silhouette I'm in one of the parade bralettes but if it's perfect as like a top which i love of course a very summer trend are these jorts I, but i've been also liking how they have been transitioning into the fall i've been seeing them styled with like moto jackets like this or one of my favorites with like an oversized cardigan that is kind of like more puff sleeve been loving that as well i think this is a fun way again to do the transition summer to fall because i keep mentioning it's just not cold enough where i'm at yet but i think this is a cool way to style these outfits and here's the boots they're really really out there they're from circus new york and that's what i like about these trends is that sometimes you get to try these trends and see if you like them for yourself and putting some of these on i'm like yeah i do enjoy them or maybe it's not me you know and i think that's a cool thing about trends you don't always have to follow them but i think they could be like fun guidelines to play around with at the end of the day what matters most is what you want to wear and creating your own personal style i'm going to take this off because it's too hot i have the stripe top on and i paired it with some jeans y'all and i was like thinking okay am i letting y'all down for this being so quote unquote basic i don't think it's basic not to me especially because i'm the type of person who is not really used to wearing pattern like this pairing it with something that i'm mostly comfortable with that is jeans it's a very simplistic outfit and i don't think this is basic at all and it's actually giving me very parisian inspired because I did see a lot of men in Paris wear a lot of striped like tops like this. And I just think with the baggy jeans and then the ballet flats, it's so comfortable. And then again, you can add a red bag if you want. Probably go with a tote with this outfit. But I don't have any totes right here. So I think it's good. It works. And I don't think it's so basic. And then I thought about that, you know, is it an outfit or is she just skinny? Where sometimes we applaud like basic outfit on these ideal body types and then when someone like me my size you know plus size wears it it's not as praised as someone who's in the ideal body type so i like it simplistic and i wore it to my class the other day and i got a lot of compliments all right so one of the last trends that i saw is like the ruffle tops or just ruffles in general i remember i had this top which is a lingerie top that i ended up thrifting i think back in 2021 i feel like you've seen this top styled in 
a lot of my videos and it's just one of my favorite pieces so for me with a top like this i want to make it a statement i just ended up pairing it with these jeans something about jeans with a fun top and a kitten heel is so iconic to me it's truly the basis of most of my outfits i love having like a casual piece mixed with maybe something a little bit more sexy uh, or of a statement you know and this ruffle top is definitely a very cute little statement and i paired it with these kitten heels that have a little like red flower on the end and of course we keep saying this pop of red is in and I added my burgundy bag. Yeah, just a quick, simple way of how to style this top. I don't know if this is too basic because sometimes I'm like, it's just pairing jeans with a top, like a cop out. And I'm like, no, it's not, girl. That's literally how you would go and wear it out. So I just sometimes like get to in my head and I feel like maybe I like have to make these extravagant outfits. But at the end of the day, that's not my personal style. And this is. So I think it works. Those <laughs> are all the fall fashion trends that I ended up styling. Not gonna lie y'all, halfway your girl was cramping. So it was just a little bit more difficult for me to like film. I did have a couple more outfits where I wanted to do some of the trends just like on a specific one outfit, but I did end up combining multiple trends sometimes in one outfit. So I didn't get to do all of them. I feel like you get the idea of all these trends. At the end of the day, I find trends just another cool, fun way to style them and see if it's something that i enjoy and if i can incorporate into my personal style and you should just wear what you like and what you're comfortable in and have fun expressing yourself because to me fashion is fun and it should just be something you like to do creatively and that's why i enjoy it but anyways it's getting beyond noisy here because it is five o'clock in the afternoon and people are coming home and it's just a whole new thing okay my dogs are barking like crazy oh it's because it's my male guy he typically is here at eight nine in the morning and he's here close to five which that means it's not the male person that usually comes and drops off mail anyways i really hope you enjoyed this video and i would love your suggestions on how to keep creating styling videos for y'all because i've been having fun getting dressed and having all these different fall inspo but sometimes i just feel like i'm not sure how to kind of film it as i mentioned previously in another video i feel like sometimes these outfit videos can be like a short or a reel or a tiktok as someone who enjoys long form content i want to create these videos where you can get as much information out there but they're for you know us long format people who like to watch long videos let me know any suggestions you have down below hope you enjoyed the vid and if you did don't forget to give it a like and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and you can also catch me on all my other socials which is living as karina on ig tiktok whatnot and as well as my pinterest if you want to check me out there appreciate all the time and support and just coming back and watching my videos truly means so much to me. So thank you so much for taking the time. I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.